Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to add popover to info boxes. Let me explain you with an example. Here I've got two info boxes. The first one shows mean price of diamonds and the second one shows the median price of diamonds. All this is coming from the diamonds data set. The use case here is that when the user mouse hovers this question mark icon, it should show the description of this metric. So say for example, I mouse over and it says it's, it's mean and the description goes like mean price of diamonds. The second info box which I have here also shows the popover but when the user mouse overs the info box itself. So no need to mouse over the icon, but, but a different way to show the popover. And you can see it says the metric is median and the description goes like median price of diamonds. Now let me tell you to get these popovers, uh, what we have done is we have used a package called shiny BS this question mark icon as well as in this position uh, I have used subtitle argument of info box as well as CSS we'll start with loading the required packages so I've got library shiny library shiny dashboard then shiny BS this is the one which will use for popover and if you don't have go ahead and install it and then we'll also use the ggplot2 library this is because we are using the diamonds data set. Then we have got the UI code. We've got the dashboard page, dashboard header, uh, dashboard sidebar, menu item. We just have one menu item called dashboard. And in the dashboard body, what we are doing is we are referencing our style sheet. So the CSS sheet is there in the www folder within my working directory. Now this piece of code is uh, what is giving us the popover and then let's see what is going on here in the server uh, server code. So I'm getting the uh, info box, the first info box uh, uh, within render info box. It's giving the mean so it's just uh, to get the mean and I've got the icon. This is the name of the icon coming from font awesome library. And what I've done is I've given subtitle equals, I'm using tags dollar a, I'm giving the icon, and then I have assigned this an ID. Now you will see how I'm using this ID. Uh, this ID will be basically used to reference um, this particular uh, argument as well as icon when we are building the uh, popover. The second info box, but here I have not defined the ID. I wanted to show you how, how we get the two things. One, pop over the icon as well as pop over the info box. Let's go to UI, uh, UI code and see how to get the pop over. So we get the pop over using BS pop over. BS is nothing but bootstrap. So it goes with different arguments the first one is id it's id equals question one it's coming from here icon question circle id equals question one then we have content what content you want to give or the description you want to give the trigger so uh, this can be hover this can be click you may want to uh, user to click on it and that's when the popover should appear so it depends on how you want and in the in in this example it's hover placement is right so when the popover shows up it should show in the right hand side you might adjust it towards the left side or auto then options is a list container equals body now this was for the icon now the second popover is where I have used the ID as info to. That means that this reference to the info box itself. The second info box output ID is info to. So 
this is where the popover will show up when mouse hovers the info box and rest of the arguments uh, goes uh, in the similar way title equals median content whatever description you want trigger is hover i wanted to show up when user hovers it placement is right and options is again same list container equals body let's look at the css uh, to get an understanding of how to uh, play with um, info box css we have a class called info box text this controls the text part which is nothing but mean say for example so we've got mean which is the text part we have got this value which is the number part and then we have got um, the third one here which is subtitle and we have used subtitle to create or to get this question mark icon so remember that um, to format or to give styling to the number which is the value we use the class info box number so you can see i've given the font style as italics so that's why it is showing as uh, italics here and to play with or style the subtitle which in this case is this icon what i have done is i have mentioned info box content greater than sign p and then i've said text align right vertical align top position relative 